Hey, good afternoon. KB2MXV here. Just received the package from Gigaparts. And let's see what could be in here. FT5D. So let's uh, take a quick dive right into this. <clears throat> Uses manual. Fancy new belt clip. And there's two screws in that bag. We have an AC plug. We have a European plug adapter. This is a US USB cable that'll be used to update firmware only. Here is a spring loaded belt clip that can go on the back of the battery or on the back of the uh, holster. <clears throat> Here is our antenna. Nice feel to it. Here is our Yesu fourteen LI battery. That's going to need a charge. And here's the radio. Definitely has a more weight to it than the 3D. There are your ports. There's that little special secret door. And here are the buttons. Let me see. Oh yeah, they protrude a little bit so you can tell what you're pressing. All right, let's get a battery on this and see what uh, she looks like. Okay, so here is the radio with the battery without a belt clip. And here is the, uh, the holster. 
and I believe it goes in backwards. Yeah, these little clips at the bottom here are gonna capture the bottom of the radio, not the battery. So this is gonna sit in there just like that. And then this little clip is gonna lock right onto the back. So yeah, that's solid and it's attaching to the radio, not the battery. So I guess all you do is uh, knock the clip up and it comes out here. Yeah, very nice, very nice design. All right, let's uh, power this up for the first time. Let's just take a look at the uh, menu mode here. So if I want to put a frequency in here, if I want to go four, four, nine, seven, seven, five, okay. Now, if I hit the F button momentarily, That screen looks familiar. Memory list, squelch type. Tone, tone squelch. It's good for me. Oh, back, yeah. They moved the back button. Okay, so I got my frequency. It's doing the shift already for me. I just need to put the PL tone in. So let's see. So the PL tone is going to be, let's see, in the uh, signaling. Squelch type. Squelch expansion on. That's just going to give me some more options. Squelch type. Oh, that's the same thing. Squelch frequency. And that is TSQ. So what is it? Don't squelch frequency. Go to one thirty one eight. Back. Okay. So we have the step and everything. Uh, let me lower this volume to about three quarters of the way. Let me uh, punch in a DTMF code real quick. The time is 1.22 p.m. at MVGC 79 degrees 112.8 volts 14.4 volts W3TWA repeater system.
Yeah, I can confirm. It's uh, much louder than the uh, the 3D. That's for sure. And they have another menu in here. Okay, this is going to be a test of half volume on the radio. KB2MXV testing. FT5DR. Volume set to 50%. This is KB2MXV. KB2MXV. I'm outside. You might be hearing some wind noise, but this is KB2MXV. Half volume. FT5DR. Now let's up that all the way to 100%. KB2MXV, FT5DR, FT5DR, 100% audio, 100% audio. KB2MXV, 100% audio. Let's drop this down to a normal listening level. I'm guessing somewhere around 70%, uh, 75%. Let's give that one more test. This is KB2MXV, 75% on the audio level. FT5DR, 75% on the audio level. KB2MXV, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, KB2MXV. And last but not least, let's move this down to about 25%. Okay, so that's about 25% volume. KB2MXV, 25% volume, FT5DR. KB2MXV, 25% volume, FT5DR. I wish I had still had my FT3D, but I sold that piece of junk a long time ago.